condone sign stealing, saying it is not a value that its members endorse. Shootings, stabbings, robberies, and drug use. Some say the number of teens involved in all of those things are on the rise here in Toledo. But a mentoring program is taking it to the streets to fight this ongoing problem. Sharia Davis is live to tell us what they are planning to do. Yeah, in honor of a cold Coco Hill, an activist murdered last month, a mentoring program called The Village 50 will walk the streets tomorrow to talk to every teen they can find to try to help end youth violence. Imperative and indicative that the black man understands his place right now, mm -hmm. that these young men need us. Lawrence Tribble says hearing about teens involved in shootings and stabbings usually upsets him, but he believes these kids are only doing these things because they want to belong. What they see is other young black males doing the same thing, so they're following suit. So he, along with several others, are hitting the streets near Hawley and Woodland tomorrow, talking to kids, letting them know there are options besides violence and crime. Tribble blames drug use and violence depicted in the media for many senseless crimes involving youth, but he's hoping the mentoring program can help change that. Uh, the rising number of, of, of shootings and, and gang violence is due to what they watching on TV. One of his partners, Matthew Coleman, is also on board. The men will meet outside Kings and Queen Barber Salon, the same shop where community activist Raquel Hill worked before she was gunned down last month. Her killer is still out on the loose, which frustrates Coleman, but it also motivates him. The reason to come here isn't a remembrance of Coco. I say to myself, you know, frustration is optimism turned inside out. So as I get frustrated, I'm the type of person who feels I need to then take action. Tribble and Coleman say they're looking for more men to take part in this walk. If you would like to help, the men will meet outside tomorrow at 4 p.m. Reporting live, Sharia Davis, Fox Toledo News.